What's going on guys? Welcome to another video. We're Chance going to Bass Pro Shots. His girlfriend's over there. <laughs> we're uh, making a late night run. Tournament's tomorrow morning and I lost a few things so we're going to come here and stock up on a little bit of tackle. I just made a video here but literally the next day when I went out I lost like, I spent $80 worth. I lost like 70 so going to buy a few things. Alright, I'm stocking back up on crankbaits. I got, I got one of these. I bought a few the other day but this one actually goes 10, 8 to 12 foot. This is a DT6. It's not the exact color I've been wanting, but that color's pretty pretty good too. He's got he's got that same 8 to 12. That one's a 10 foot. That's a DT10. And I got I got this. I like this one. They just don't have too many colors here. They'd be getting like dirty water. I'm probably gonna pick this guy up. This bomber. That's 6 to 8 foot. I like how it has the chartreuse and the and the red on it. it has a black bag. This bomber is pretty good. Or I was gonna get this one. I'm decided. I'm gonna use this as like a skinny dipper on top of the water. I'm gonna try like a darker color because I was trying white before. I think this darker color is gonna work better. Man, how are you? Hey, what's up? No, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. You got some videos and stuff? Yeah, I love it. Sick man, hey, I got a, I got a video rolling. You want to say anything? Okay. What's your name? What's your Instagram? Uh, Nathaniel underscore Choate. Cool, man. C-H-O-A-T-E. You mind if I get a picture with you? Sure. Cool, man. Cool. You live over here? I live uh, in Pierce County, over by West Coast. Oh, I got you. Cool. cool. Yeah, He's got a new rod. Is he? It's cool, dude. What, what kind of rod? I do have to see. There you go. I that's so cool you know that's like the best part of what i do is like seeing people come up you know talking to them that's definitely the best part i saw a few other people in there that that i could tell knew who i was but they didn't want to say anything which sucks because you know i want to don't feel like you're weird or bugging me like come up to me and talk I, I like that more than like if you if you're just like looking at me you'd be like man i wish you would come up to me if you come up to me i'm gonna be like i respect that guy that guy's cool but man i love that seriously that's great Ch uh, chance is actually going him and his girlfriend are gonna go get some chick-fil-a before they close and uh bass pro shops just closed so i didn't get to film much so i'm going to both stores right now i'm actually going to go get all my tackle ready and uh we'll film there i'll show you everything i bought i'll show you what he bought why we bought it, all that good stuff. I'll catch you guys at bow storage. Just got the bow storage. I got a few, I got some more, some more stuff right here. I'm gonna show you guys. I'm about to rig up everything, uh, get everything rolling for tomorrow. I'm so excited, so pumped. Just gotta get everything prepared, get everything perfect. That's like, you know, that's one thing. You, you gotta, for your tournaments, you gotta be prepared. I mean, preparation, you know, anything, not just in fishing, anything in life, you know, preparation big key big key to success ignore that mess that's what i got all right this is a big son of a gun it's a, about two ounce i'm flipping weight punching weight got that dt6 that crawl color that should that should do the trick the one i have on right now is a little different i'll show you in a minute uh black and blue jig what else i got this little sweet crank bait right here by Bandit. This thing goes eight to 12 foot. These are similar to a skinny dipper. I'm gonna be running that at the top of the water and on top of lily pads. A little flipping jig. No need for that. That was another $65 purchase. A little bomber crank bait right here. It's uh, got red and chartreuse on it. A Booyah spinnerbait with some Colorado blades. Got one gold blade, one chrome blade on there. And a little Strike King Series 3 crankbait in red. That's what I got. Should do the trick right there. This thing's so expensive. This is like 12 bucks. 12 bucks for that little weight. That's what you call tournament preparation right here. Dang, bro. That, look at this. This is crazy. This is just, we're all over the place. And it is beyond hot in here. It ain't even funny. 
Wait till you see my shark grow. All right, guys, got all my poles are good. This is probably the most rods you'll ever see on my deck. And it's not because, like, I don't know what I'm going to be throwing. It's just because, like, this is all the tools to my toolbox that I need for tomorrow. So, got this little DT6 spinnerbait, skinny dipper, Texas rig, flipping or punching. Buzz bait, punch and flipping. I got two rigged up. That one's monster daddy. You don't even know about that. that, that I I can make a 10 pounder skirt across the water on that rod right there. Got all our poles rigged up. Everything's good. And now we're actually about to go put some gas loaded up in the boat. downtown on a Friday. So many people everywhere. I'm over here filling up that boat. Supposedly a speedboat. A few other people said. Yeah, people come, yeah, people go. I just sit back and collect gold. I'd rather do it all on my own. All right, guys, I'm actually going to end the video off here. I'll catch you guys in the morning. Filming the tournament is going to be really cool. So pumped about it. If you guys want to check out like the results, stuff like that, because by the time you see the video, of course, the tournament's going to be over. Um, go check it out. I'll have I'll be posting updates on Instagram, all kinds of stuff like that. Go check out my Instagram. Go check out check out my Facebook, stuff like that. Thank you guys so much for watching, and we'll catch you guys in the next video.